Thank you for purchasing an Outdoor Water Solutions Wind Driven Aeration System. This system provides one of the most efficient and effective ways of cleaning your pond. If at any point you have technical questions, please call our tech hotline at 1479 879 2961. Before you begin installation, make sure you have all of your boxes. Your basic windmill system should include the following a compressor box, a blade and tail box, your 8 foot tower section, 8 to 12 foot tower section, and additional tower sections for building a 16 foot, 20 foot, or 24 foot tower. It also includes a 100 foot of air line and an air stone, which is located inside of the compressor box. In some cases, you may have additional accessories included. The tower section boxes will be marked. As a caution, do not open all your boxes at once as the parts can be easily mistaken and used for the wrong section. To begin assembly, open the compressor and 8-foot tower section box and also the blade and tail box. Please note, the bolt package for the windmill is located inside of the blade and tail box. Here is a list of recommended tools for assembly. Tower assembly. Before you get started, here are a couple tips. Do not tighten the tower bolts until the tower assembly is complete. It also helps to build the windmill on sawhorses, picnic tables, or anything else to get it up and off the ground. Start out by laying the top legs on each side of the black tower cone, lining up the holes to match. Attach with the quarter inch by half inch bolts, the lock washers, and nuts provided. Next, begin working your way down the tower, building each section as you go. It helps to flip the windmill over each time so you're working at waist level. You should also make sure the top leg overlaps the bottom leg so water doesn't run down and into the next section. When attaching the cross braces to each extension, note that one brace is shorter than the other. The shorter cross brace is where the tightener attaches and will become adjustable allowing you to tighten that section of the tower when the tower is complete. Assemble the angle bracket to the eye bolt and the eye bolt to the shorter cross brace. Make sure the bolt head faces the outside of the cross brace. Finger tighten only. Bolt the cross brace underneath the leg extension. Then attach the cross members on top of that with the remaining bolts. Repeat for each side of the tower section and then repeat this process for each additional tower section. Once the tower is complete, you can begin tightening. We recommend tightening the corners up on each section first, then tightening the cross brace to take out the slack. An impact wrench or an air wrench can significantly speed up the process. Rotor assembly. Start by setting the one-piece hub on a bucket, tire, or box. You want the blades to be unrestricted and allowed to float as you assemble the head. Note. Put the small hole down and the large hole up. Begin by attaching each blade to the hub. Use a flat washer on each bolt and insert the bolt through the blade. Use a lock washer and a nut on the inside of the hub. Only tighten about at one third of the way. You want to keep the nuts very loose. Repeat the process until all blades are installed onto the hub assembly. After all the blades are in place, install the blade braces between each blade. You'll need to pull the blades together to get the last two bolts to connect. It helps to have an extra set of hands for this step. After the head is assembled, we recommend flipping the head over and wiggling the head back and forth so the blades settle into about a 10 to 15 degree angle facing upwards. This also makes it easier to get a wrench on the bolts for tightening. Next, begin tightening each of the bolts and nuts inside the hub assembly. An impact wrench or an air wrench, again, can significantly speed up the process. Once that's done, tighten the bolts and the nuts on the blade braces. Compressor installation. First, we'll slide the pivot tube into place. The hole for the 90 degree brass hose barb must line up with the hose atop the compressor. Use the big U-bolt and two nuts to tighten the pivot tube into the compressor. Make sure you get this tight as you don't want the pivot tube to spin or slide down in a high wind situation. Next, insert the compressor shaft into the windmill hub assembly. 
line up the flats on the shaft with the two set screws located inside of the hub. You can use vice grips to turn the shaft if you need to. Then tighten the two set screws securely. Next, we want to assemble the two tail fin halves together. Bolt the pre-bent ends of the tail arms onto the fins. You can either attach the tail fins to the compressor now or wait until the compressor has been inserted into the tower cone. Bolt the tail arms onto both sides of the compressor, bolts facing inward, then tighten. Lastly, use a 3 8 inch wrench or socket to attach the compressor door. Attaching the head to the tower. Lay the tower on a sawhorse or other three foot lift. Grease the inside of the cone using industrial grease or a white lithium grease before inserting the windmill head into the tower. Next, insert the tube into the black tower cone. Insert one end of the half inch poly tube tubing through the bottom of the pivot tube. Lubricate the 90 degree hose barb elbow and insert one end of the hose. Push the other end of the hose barb through the hole in the pivot tube and into the hose coming from the compressor top plate. This step may require needle nose pliers or vice grips. Next, lock the hub onto the compressor shaft with the 5 16 inch bolt and attach the dome to the hub. Securing the airline. Secure the hose to one side of the tower. This can be attached at any point on the frame using zip ties. Bolt the hose bracket to the tower. Place the hose between the elongated hose bracket and the clamp and then bolt them together. Be sure to secure the hose to the bracket tightly as this will force the hose to turn on the 90 degree hose barb as the windmill head turns. Raising and anchoring the windmill. Outdoor Water Solutions will not determine the soil and wind conditions for any windmill installation. Therefore, these conditions must be determined by the customer. Anchoring of the windmill is very important. It's the customer's responsibility to adequately anchor the tower. We provide a basic anchoring kit and strongly recommend the use of concrete pilings, a concrete pad, or screw and anchors. High winds, wet or light soil conditions can cause the windmill to fall over, physically damage in the rotor head and other components. The warranty does not cover any kind of wind or weather damage. Here's a tip. It is best to have three or four people to help raise the completed windmill. Use a third person to anchor the base of the tower to prevent it from sliding, or better yet, use our hinge kit. One possible option for anchoring your windmill is as follows. Mark where the ground stakes need to go. Slide the windmill over slightly and dig 30 to 36 inch post holes around each ground rod. Slide the tower over and center over each hole. Then using a sledgehammer drive the four foot stake rods into the ground after you have positioned them in the stake clamps. Secure the stake clamps to the ground rods using the bolts provided. Level the windmill tower before tightening all bolts then fill with a concrete mixture of at least two bags of quickrete per hole. Airstone installation. Once the windmill is standing securely and anchored, attach the airstone to the airline and secure with a stainless steel hose clamp. Before lowering the airstone into the pond, insert the airstone into a heavy duty utility bucket, attaching nylon rope to the hose and the bucket handle. The bucket should be weighted with approximately three inches of gravel, stones, or concrete. When you're ready to lower the airstone, tie another piece of nylon rope from the bucket handle to a floating marker. This marks where the airstone has been placed. Make sure the length of the rope is longer than the depth of your pond. Congratulations! You've completed assembly and installation of a windmill aeration system. If you have any questions or need assistance, please call our tech support hotline or visit us at our website. Once again, thank you for purchasing an Outdoor Water Solutions windmill aeration system.